second and two at the 24. Mullins, pocket collapses oh. on him. He threw a pick right down the sideline to Cameron Curl. He gets a block from James Smith Williams. He's still going. 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown. Touchdown, Washington. Second defense. What's going on, Washington Commander Nation? It's your guy, Rio, back with another episode. And today, we have a special guest, my second player appearance on the show, our starting star safety, Mr. Cam Curl. What's going on, big dog? What's up, man? I appreciate you for having me. Yeah, man. I appreciate you for coming on, man. What you up to right now? How's the offseason treating you? I'm um, doing pretty good. You know, the training, getting my body back right, getting ready for OTAs. Okay, you training with any other like the, with any teammates or any other players league wide, or are you just training by yourself? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm training. I got my dog Scooter, Defo, Shaka. Okay. Uh, and then, you know, there's a couple, uh, couple dudes on some other teams that you're training with. Okay, so I, I love it. That's the team camaraderie. I love it, and you know what I'm saying. I know everybody likes to post workout videos and stuff. I like that y'all working in silence. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got to show everybody all their workouts and stuff. And fans, we get mad as hell when we see a bunch of workout clips and no progression the next year, man. It's cool to work in silence, man. Yeah, so, so. Hell yeah. So going into year three, like, do you have any personal goals you set for yourself? Like, you want to – like, you've been creeping at 100 tackles both seasons so far. Um, you ain't getting any picks last year, but that does not take away from your production. You balled out last year for anything specifically you're looking to reach this year? I mean, I do want to hit the hand because I feel I could have hit the hand if I didn't get hurt. But, oh, for sure. Uh, yeah, I need to get some picks, you know what I'm saying? But like really just just trying to be better than last year. Oh yeah, I love it. I love it. And and I'm pretty sure you're more concerned with team success. You know what I'm saying? You trying to you trying to see what the postseason talking about. Yeah, we're trying to get to the Super Bowl. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. So you were drafted by the Washington Redskins. You played two seasons on the football team, and now we're the Washington Commanders. What are your thoughts of the rebrand so far? Speak I honestly. I like it, you know. You know, it's something new. I like the uniforms. You know, we do a lot of combinations with them, stuff like that. But, I mean, it's cool, you know, so some hype around it, you know, so we just carry that on into the season. Okay, did you did you have a name specifically that you liked the most, or was you not even getting involved in all of it? I mean, I've seen some, like, you know, like, I don't know. I ain't never had no favorite for real, though. Okay. That, that's, see, that's more of a thing of, like, us that been following the team our whole life and stuff like that. Like, we was, like, all pushing. Like, everybody wanted it to be Red Wolves or Wolves or some shit yeah, like that. Yeah, I was that. seeing that. I was seeing that a lot. Sure. Hell yeah. But which uniform combo? I mean, which uniform, which jersey you think hit the best? I think that white hits hard. Like, the black's fire, but that white hit different. Yeah, that white hard, for sure. I like the black, but then, like, you know, I want to switch it, you know, switch it around, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. White with the black, white with the red and stuff like that. Yeah, I think the white tops with the black bottoms is going to be the cleanest look. Real. Like, that joint's going to be fire. Like, it's not traditional, but it's new, and people need to accept new. It's hard for people to accept new, but that's it is what it is now, though. But yeah. what safety position do you feel more comfortable at? Like, because I feel like they've thrown you around so many places. They had you in the Buffalo nickel. They had you at, start, at free. They had you at strong. Which spot do you feel like is more fit for your skill set? Uh, honestly, I feel like I can play it all, like, because college, I play, we didn't even play, like, free strong, we played left and right, so, you know, <clears throat> you was playing both responsibilities on either side, so it's like, I feel like I can play either one of them, and then the nickel spot, nickel, you know, it's fun, so, I like being in there, you know, being closer to the box, uh, with the linebackers and stuff like that. All right, so I take it from that, though, I feel like strong. Strong might be your your go to, but I I know Ron preaches position flex. He say that shit in every press conference. <laughs> so I know I'm saying I, I know he appreciates the versatility of it. You picked number thirty one when you got drafted here. Was there any significance of it, or is just the only the, the best decent number available? Because you know there's not too much to pick from when rookies come in. I ain't even pick it for real. <laughs> like, no, it was like the fault. <laughs> I was really trying to get that twenty five. But they were like, no, nah, we got you in 31. 
Oh man. Because I know you rocked two in college. You never thought about uh, cutting a check to Diami to get that two off him. <laughs> nah, I ain't, you know, he got it. I ain't pay nobody. <laughs> Okay, I respect it. I respect it. So it's a new league year as of this week. Free agency teams throwing this bag around to everybody right now. Your man Landon, uh, he's been moving on, man. What's the how, how you feel about that? And what kind of impact has he had on you as a vet, as your OG in the league so far? Uh, he had a, a big impact. You know what I'm saying? I learned a lot from uh, while he was here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we spent time together, like. He's just a real cool dude, you know what I'm saying, on and off the field. Uh, you know, I was the best for him, you know what I'm saying? Still the big dog, you know what I'm saying? Like, ain't nothing gonna change between us. Okay, I love, I love to hear that, man. That's real, that's real shit. And I see um, Bobby got his bag, your running mate on the back end, your twin Cam Sims got his bag, you know what I'm saying? How, it must be nice to see your boys get theirs, man. Yeah, for sure, like, that, that made, me, made me feel good, you know what I'm saying? You see the boy working every day, stuff like that. So, boy, deserve it. Hell yeah, and I know, I know, I know you don't want to think about it too much, but I know you you got one year left on your contract after this year. I know you can't wait to see what that not rookie contract look like. Yeah, I ain't worried about it right now. Though. I'm trying to lock in. You know what I'm saying? But Hell yeah, all that money you see in the back of my head. Oh yeah, it's definitely it gotta be there. You see the you see these contracts being thrown around out here, man. The money is out there in the league, TV deals and stuff. The cap is gonna keep going up, so just keep balling, and you got a big check coming your way, man, for sure. So you're from you're from um Oklahoma, right? Yeah, Muskoka, Oklahoma. Muskoka, Oklahoma. Um, does, does it? Do you still? Do you hold some type of like a little bit of shade towards the Sooners for not offering you soon enough? I mean, back then, <laughs> I was feeling some type of way, but I ain't, I ain't care no more, really, because at the end of the day, I wanted to go play in the SEC. I feel like that's the best conference in college football. For sure. Well, yeah, it just, it just, it just got to hit, like, sting a little bit. Like, damn, I'm right in your backyard, and y'all couldn't right, shoot the ball. What y'all looking at? Hey, what y'all look Exactly. You, know, you got to always hold that, even if there's no real ill will. You know what I'm saying? Look, just like the contract, they gotta stay in the back of your head sometimes. Mm-hmm. Your pops, he um he, he still reps the Sooners though, right? Yeah, that's the team for real. Oh yeah. Like, hey, your pops is hilarious. Yeah, I'll up like that's that's his team. Your pops like is a character, yo. Like he be mixing it up. Hell yeah, he be mixing it up on Twitter with us. He be out here with the common folk just talking his shit on Twitter. <laughs> I need a I need a Papa Curl and Cam podcast, bro. <laughs> you might can do that. I don't know. Oh yeah, man. I would love to see it. But you know, what team did you did you what what was your favorite team growing up? Like NFL? Yeah. Uh growing up, I like the Raiders a lot. The Raiders? Yeah. Cause I really like I grew up in California until I was like ten. So I was messing with the Raiders a lot. Okay, so you like the Raiders. That's interesting. So um, as long as you ain't say Dallas, we was going to be cool. You, know? if you, you say Dallas, I was like, ah, <laughs> we, we, we got some issues there. Do you take part of, like, you know how players, like, recruit and hit up their boys? Like, you see somebody that's a free agent. Are, have you taken part of trying to recruit people here? I mean, I don't really, like, everybody who's free agents, they older than me, so I don't know them for real. Like, all the dudes, you know. Who I hit up, we still on the rookie contract, so it ain't even no choice to get him up for real. Hell yeah. Um, tell me about your man Traylon Burks, man, out of Arkansas, because I think he would be a perfect first round pick for the squad this year. Yeah, that's, that's my dog, man. He a, he a beast for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, I remember uh, my last year it was his freshman year in Arkansas, and like I already knew, like, he gonna be special. Like, he big, fast, he gonna catch everything. You know what I'm saying? He's a dog, so. Yeah, man, I would love to have him here, man. Definitely give Ron and them a tap on the shoulder every now and then and be like, yo, <laughs> <laughs> Traylon Burks, man. It's my dog, man. But, all right, before we get off your college career, I got to ask, bro. Your last game of your sophomore year, what happened with these Mississippi State cheerleaders, man? <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> you was going smack before the game. <laughs> man, that really it was set up, bro, for real, man. You supposed to set us up. Really, they put their cheerleaders right by our locker room. Man. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand why you guys did the team or the NCAA suspend y'all for a game. Nah, it was the team. Was so team. they suspended y'all for going smack at some cheerleaders. Yeah, it wasn't nothing crazy. Like, they were trying to talk to us, and one of our reporters was taking pictures, and, like, he asked the coach in the press conference in front of everybody, so it blew up. Yeah. It was nothing. So nothing. Really nothing. There was nothing wrong with the situation, you know what I'm saying? Oh, they hating, man. They hating. <laughs> Let my young boys eat, man. They just trying to get a selfie off. <laughs> But for real though, how was your draft night though when you got drafted a couple years ago? Uh, it was cool for me. It was long. I had to wait. But, uh, oh, yeah. Did you have a? Did you have like a range of when you thought you were gonna get picked? Not really, you know, because like before the draft, like my little projection was like so like in between like three rounds, four rounds. So I really didn't know, but just getting that car. You know what I'm saying? It felt good, you know? Like, you know, it was a dream come true for real. Hell yeah. And I'm sure you wasn't really worried about where you was going to get picked because you was just going – you you got that dog in you. You're just going to fight. You're going to go out and earn yours. Like, a lot of dudes come into the league expecting things and expecting it to be easy. And you love to see a seventh-round pick come in and immediately find a spot on the team. What was your first major purchase after you got drafted and you got your first NFL check? Well, I bought a car. I bought a little Benz. Uh, okay. And that thing, like, it was too small. I couldn't mess with it no more. I had to give it to my sister. Okay. What you get? What you get after? Uh, a little track hawk. Okay. A little track hawk. Okay. Okay. What do you um? What do you do? Like when you're not when you're not being football player, Cam. What are you doing in your in your normal life? Like, what are your hobbies? What do you like to do off the field? Well, I be chilling for real. That's good. That's that's how you have a long career. What games you be playing? So I be playing Madden, 2K, GTA. Uh, I got UFC. What's I'm, hard, I'm hard at UFC though, like no count. For real? Yeah, I'm putting stuff. PlayStation or Xbox? I got Xbox. Ooh, you got Xbox, bro. You got it. You got to get the PlayStation, bro. PlayStation no, where it's at, bro. For real, bro. You know what? I'm messing with Xbox. Nah, man, that PlayStation, man, it, it's a better collection of games. But I guess for what you what you play, Xbox works out. But um, is there like any vacation spot? I know because the world's been weird the last couple years because of COVID. Like we finally getting back to some normalcy, and the restrictions are getting loosened. Is there any like dream vacation spots you want to hit and travel like next off season or something? Uh, I always want to go to uh, Bora Bora. I seen the pictures of like the water hmm. clear out there and stuff. They say it's like a ten-hour flight. So I don't know no more. Hell yeah, Bora Bora looks like a fly ass place somewhere like there or the Maldives, man. Type of places that you don't even feel like a real life. Yeah, for sure. Go vibe. Hell yeah, man. But since you've been here, we you've already seen like ten quarterbacks starting on the offensive side of the ball. We got Carson here. Hopefully this lasts because we need some stability because for y'all, we already know the defense y'all going to get right. We got to get the offense some consistency and take, take ease the, ease the load on the defense. What do you feel about the pickup of Carson Wentz? Well, I like it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, little, uh, another veteran quarterback, you know, uh, he got experience, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I've seen film like, Good him, so you know, I'm just excited. Oh, yeah, and you played against him before. Playing for Coach Harris, Chris Harris, man. He seems like he has such so much fun with you guys, like he can really relate to y'all. Like, man, what's it like playing for him? Um, uh, it's fun, you know what I'm saying? He's a real good teacher, and he's gonna bring the energy, you know what I'm saying? You already need somebody who can bring the energy in there. He's gonna stay positive, you know, throughout the whole game and stuff like that. So it's it's fun, it's fun playing. It seems like he could be a head coach one day because a lot of guys, you're either like a good teacher or you're like a good like people person, like a good players coach. He seems like he has a good, really good balance of both. And yeah. y'all DBs be eating, man. 
For sure. Who's your favorite athlete? My favorite athlete out of all sports. Like all time, who's your favorite athlete? Oh no! Go ahead, say Brian. You said <laughs> Brian. Brian up there though for sure. It's my goat. Yeah, but I don't even know. Like, like I grew up. Like I like Reggie Bush, AP, like Michael Vick. Like them was really my top. USC Reggie Bush was unlike anything we have ever seen, bro. Yeah, I feel like he's the hardest college football player. Definitely. That boy was different for real, man. Um. Who's the who's the funniest dude in the locker room? Yeah, it was my dog Tim. Shit. Oh yeah, Tim was funny as hell. Uh, I'm trying to think now though. I don't know how to get back in the locker room. <laughs> it's been a minute. <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah, but um, which coach is more likely to cuss y'all out if y'all bullshitting? Cuss us out like. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, really? I don't. My cousin really don't even be on that for real. For real? Yeah, cuss you out, but it's like, they not really on you for real, you know what I'm saying? Cause, Jack yeah. seemed intense. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. He intense for so, but then he understand too, though. Okay. So, like, it's like a balance, you know what I'm saying? Like, we all grown. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's a balance. Man, I got you, I got you. Who got the most drip in the locker room? See, me. Nah, I like that. Thank you. I, that's a <laughs> that's a good answer right there. My man said I got the most drip in the locker room. Who the best in Madden in the locker room? Looking at him. Right there? Okay. You know what I'm saying? If you had PlayStation, I'd tell you pull up. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm going to let you go in a second. What do you think your Madden rating should be in 2020, 2023? Uh, 99. <laughs> 99? <laughs> I love the confidence, man. I appreciate you. Anything you want to plug before you go? You got anything you're working on? Anything you want to market while you're here? Uh, I mean, we're working on some stuff, but, you know, I keep on the wraps right now. You know okay. Saying? You you got a passing camp. I mean, you got, like, a camp coming up or something, right? Uh, Yeah, we're trying to, we trying to get that set up right now for uh, the summer. You know, trying to go back, you know, get back to the kids and stuff like that. All right, man. I appreciate you for coming on with me today, man. I wish you a healthy and prosperous season and career, and we should definitely do this again, man. I appreciate you for having me. All right, man. Good looks, bro.